one more episode and then I'll make my YouTube video. One more episode. That's like 48 minutes. Um, I have other stuff I should be doing, but whatever. It's a good show. How to not procrastinate. A question everyone at some point in their life asks themselves because there are so many other things you would probably rather be doing than the thing you need to do, but we need to stop procrastinating. So in this video, I have eight tips to get you to not procrastinate anymore. So let's get started. Tip number one, buy a planner, make a planner. You don't have to be spending money, but having an organized planner always helps me. Let's see, let's go to a page that I have used. So this was last week, I didn't get everything I needed to get done, but the best thing about getting a planner, highlighting when you are finished with the task. I have seen other people do this different ways, like people do check marks or just cross things off, but you know, adding a little color to your life makes it a lot more exciting. So yeah, checking things off is always fun. Tip number two, it is important to create deadlines. If you're in school, this is simple enough. Your teacher will probably give you a deadline, but especially with long-term assignments or projects, it's important to know when the task needs to get done so that you can actually get it done on time. And create deadlines before the due date so that if you are a little behind and you procrastinate on your deadlines for yourself, well, you can still turn it in the day it's due. Tip number three. In order for me to not procrastinate, I always have to create an incentive for myself or a reward. And this isn't every time, but especially during those times where I am very distracted. So one of the incentives is my phone, since it should be off and away. Well, not off, but you know, maybe on silent so you can't hear your notifications. What I do is I study. And like if I'm reading something, for example, I'll be like, Okay, I'm gonna read at least 10 pages. And when I read 10 pages, I can check my phone. When I mean check my phone, I mean go on it for like two minutes, text people back, scroll through a few pictures on Instagram, and then your two minutes are up and you're like, crap, if I want to go on my phone again, I have to read 10 more pages. Tip number four. So I mentioned earlier that you should plan something out. When you have those deadlines, plan something out. And I mean, if you have a huge project and it's due for a week from now, have little steps you can accomplish each day until, like if it's Wednesday and it's due next Wednesday, start Thursday, that Thursday, so tomorrow. And have a little step, be like, okay, create an outline of what I need to get done. Okay, that's a simple task, get that done Thursday. Then Friday, you can do the first step, be like, if it's an essay, write the first paragraph of my essay, right? Saturday, write the second paragraph. Sunday, write the third paragraph, and then when you are writing it, you might get ideas during each of these days, and you're like, okay. And when you're in that mode where you're like, yeah, I got this, you might just crank it out all in one day. And you can treat yourself, go get some ice cream. It's important, treat yourself. Treat yourself to something you like more than the thing you don't wanna do. Tip number five. This applies especially when you are studying, for me personally. If I'm studying for a huge midterm that I have, I can study for something for a few hours and then be done for the day. But when I do study for a few hours, like you start to get, sometimes you start to get bored and your brain is just tired and you're like, I can't do this. So if you study for 30 minutes, it's like, okay, I'm gonna take like a five minute break because you know, 30 minutes is a smaller time. And so when you take a five minute break, you can just check your phone, do something that you wanna do, go get a glass of water hydrate but if you're studying for like an hour i don't know go take a 10 minute 15 minute 20 minute break because it's just it's important and it's healthy to give your brain a break after studying for a long amount of time so don't take advantage of those breaks also and be back before the timer is off step number six study with zero distractions i mean unless you're the kind of person that likes noise while you're studying, like, okay, that's fine, but I'm definitely not that person. Like, I like it to be completely silent so I can focus because I get distracted very easily. So if someone comes to my room and starts talking to me, I'm like, go away. But then at the same time, I'm like, stay so I don't have to get this done. Yeah, don't have any distractions in your life. Step number seven, 
Do you have a lot of things on your to-do list or in your planner that you would like to highlight? Well, I've got you covered. If you really don't want to do something that you are working on or you're like, you're looking at the list and you're like, yeah, I don't want to do any of this. I don't know. Well, I say you pick one thing, even if it's the easiest thing, just to get you started in the flow and have your mind set on like, okay, I'm, I'm in work mode. Pick the smallest thing and procrastinate on all the long list of things you need, need to do with one of those things. If you have a project for history, right? And you're like, yeah, I don't really want to do that. You're like, what else? What else should I do? Like, watch Netflix? No, the answer is no. Do not watch Netflix. The answer is go read that 20 pages that's assigned to you from your English class, or go do those 10 math problems. And then when you're done with that, you're like, okay, I need to get something else done. And you just keep, you know, you just keep highlighting things off your list because you're procrastinating and not doing those things by doing one of those things. I don't know if that makes any sense, but do it. Tip number eight. This one is as simple as it gets. You just don't procrastinate. Yeah, it has taken me years to kind of not really accomplish it because sometimes I still do procrastinate, but I definitely have gotten a lot better at not procrastinating. In high school, probably sophomore and maybe junior year, I was really bad at procrastinating. Like, who wants to do their homework in high school, you know? But my senior year, I got stuff done. I learned how to not procrastinate and I learned how to manage my time well. And eventually with practice, you'll learn too. And I'm not saying I'm perfect at not procrastinating. Like, that is not the case. I still procrastinate from time to time. But it's important, just like remind yourself, if you don't procrastinate, you will have less things to worry about in the future. Think about your future self. Do your future self a favor because if you don't procrastinate, your future self won't have those have those thoughts of, man, I wish I could, could have gone and met my younger self and told them not to procrastinate. You know what I mean? So, don't procrastinate. It's as simple as that. Those are all my tips for you today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't procrastinate on these tips and at least get one of those done within the next week, maybe next week or maybe the week after that. Just, just try them eventually. Hit like, hit subscribe and bye.